We're here with Nathan Thornton. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you so much. Yeah. So we have a game on the table. We're going to talk about this in a, in a, in a minute. Right so, now. And no, oh. no. <laughs> hold back, guys. Okay. I'll set it down for a second. Okay. It's Isaac. distracting to look at it and talk <laughs> about something else. I might take it out and start punching it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, i got to play the game. <laughs> um, so Nathan, a couple years ago, back in 2018, Aaron and myself uh, got to demo a game with mm -hmm. you. Uh, you. You... you Contact us through email, and you were like, "Hey, come stop by our booth. We're we're going to be showing off this game called Medium." Mm -hmm. And we were like, "Okay, Medium. Okay, that's cool. Whatever." So we stopped by the booth, and it was this insane experience where you are having people that you don't even know. Sometimes we're st we stood around. I remember taking pictures of that day in 2018 at Origins, and we're standing around this table. And we're trying to guess a single word with a person that we don't even know right. from a con. Uh -huh. And Medium was such... And, and I'm like, okay, Nathan, when can we get this? And it hadn't been published or anything. Yeah. You were like, here's a couple cards. And you can... I took that to work. Mm -hmm. And I brought those cards to work so many times. Oh, I'm yeah? like, guys, we're playing Medium again. They're like... We've been through all the cards like five times. I'm, like, I'm going to shuffle them differently this yeah, time. Wow. So, so tell us about Medium and how that came about, mm -hmm. and you know, just how how you started. I well, first of all, I could not believe that you showed up. I uh, well, because you know we were just getting started. It was I, I, it was a co-design with a friend of mine. Yeah. And uh, and so we were just trying to get people to you know anybody who might be interested and want to talk about it. And so I just went through all of the the you know the board game people that I enjoyed watching their videos, enjoyed reading their blogs, and you were certainly on that list. And I saw I just fired out a bunch of emails, and some showed up, and you could not have been more generous and gracious with, with giving so me your fun. time. Oh, and so did I. And um and and, and just like having you there and just. And the other thing that you were talking about, um, one of the things that we did to try to get people talking about it was we made a print and play, yeah. but then we printed up a million copies of it and cut them out and put them in Ziploc bags yeah. and just passed them out to people, which sounds like a lot of work, and it is, and it sounds expensive, <laughs> and it's not if you print them at work. Nathan's former employee now knows this. They don't watch board games, so they're fine, they're fine. <laughs> <That's> fine. <laughs> um, so yeah, so getting that out there, so like just showing it to you was, was so great. And like the game itself, if you're not familiar with it it's it is based on an old improv exercise yeah. that I think that people call like um Oh uh, gosh, we used to call it, what were you thinking? Uh, mind meld, they call it sometimes, okay. and it's basically you just you know think of a word. Uh, you go three, two, one, and I say a word, and you say a word, and those words might have nothing in common, and then we try to determine what's the word that those two might connect. Those might be the compromise between those two yeah, words, okay. and then three, two, one, and say that. And we love playing it, and and also I was you know obviously playing a lot of games, and so you start to have this exercise where you're like. This thing that I enjoy doing, is this a game? You know yeah. what I mean? Or is it just a thing that I like to do? Right. And so and I and I was like, wait a second, actually I was playing soccer in the yard with my son. I'm like, oh that thing where you count down and say the words, what if that was a game? What if the words were on yeah, cards? Yeah, yeah. You know, and I think just adding just going from think of any word in the world versus you have six words to choose from yeah. takes it from like a thought exercise, takes it from an improv uh, exercise and turns it into a game. Yeah. You know, so and then so that's kind of where where it all started. So you know, I that's started making prototypes, started playing with as many people as uh, as uh, as I can, and then and then I met you, and then I got published. That's awesome. That's awesome. really cool. Yeah. So so Isaac, now you're allowed to talk oh about gosh. your favorite game. And you like medium. so <laughs> mediums really good. I dismiss that. So it's old news. Teams. Let's be honest. Uh, it's still available. Is, this is the new hotness. <laughs> so, no, medium's still good, and there's an expansion to medium. Pick it up in your local game store. That's right. So we um, do a lot with Chad in the 25th century. Very mm -hmm. good relationship with him. You guys have a good relationship mm -hmm. with him, and last year at Origins, mm -hmm. he said, I got this prototype, I want you to play it. Mm -hmm. You know, we had a night, it was a charity mm -hmm. board game night, yep. and we went took another room, he's like, I need like 10, 12 at the table, he gets it out, starts asking these questions, and the, just, the conversation just jumped, right? And everybody was like, run that again, run that oh, again, yeah. run that again. And we played it five, six times, and it was all we're talking about. And at the time, I remember we were, mispronouncing this as green team always wins yeah. okay. is what we've all called it for a long time it's not hard. realizing that it yeah. wasn't Aaron green team wins. still does that yeah. she <laughs> said it she said it in a video the other yeah. day well, maybe so that's what we could call it like the, we do like a standalone oh, yeah. expansion I like the sound of that yeah. but, yeah. We, but we played the heck out of this thing and Origins was in the fall mm -hmm. right and very af very close after was Pax U mm -hmm. right and Chad was not going to be there 25th was not going to be there I said can you send me the print play mm -hmm. and so I took it and we taught everybody we wow. taught Tantrum House. We taught um, Man versus Meeple. We got everybody that we knew. We we're like, get over here and play this right now. Mm -hmm. It's gonna come out next year. You're gonna love it. Yeah. It's going to be the party game. 
and we play a lot of party games. We work with young adults, uh, work with family, you know, mm-hmm. with our families. We play a lot of party games. It's not my favorite game. I've got a selection of them. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. Board game is yeah. not my favorite thing. Not your favorite type of game. Favorite yeah, type yeah, of yeah, game. Yeah. Sorry, mm-hmm. sorry. Favorite type of game. But man, this one, like, I just can't stop playing. I think I have <laughs> half these cards memorized. I played it a ton of times. I told you I played with a big group. We played with a small group. I haven't quite played it with what's this? The uh, three. I really... Uh, it's yeah. possible. Like, in my head, I want to see what three would Numerically, look like. Numerically, it's possible. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fun-wise. <But> not <laughs> ideal. But, <laughs> but we, I mean, we played it last night at dinner. Yeah. Uh, oh, did you? you know, we yeah. broke it out. I had my fresh copy. I said, mm-hmm. we got 12 sitting here at the table. Let's go. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then we played it last night. You got to see we ran seven games of that last night. Yeah, it was on Back real. after back mm-hmm. after back. And wow. people loved it. I think we had 13 was our biggest group. Oh, okay. Uh, no, no, because we had cracked the other box. We had, uh, like, 16 for one. Okay. And uh, this game can scale up. I told Chad I want to see a like a hundred person game of this at a con. Oh, it can happen. I mean, it's not un- you go impossible. Green team go to that side, orange team go to the side of the room. <laughs> you go back and forth. Yeah. But but there's just something about this game that just like clicks for conversation, for fun. Mm-hmm. There's still a I'm trying to win component, mm-hmm. which some party games lose that. Yeah, like, where you just like you play Telestrations, you're not keeping score. Oh yeah, yeah. Right, but there's still a push in like, can I win this game? Mm-hmm. Yeah, right? yeah. And uh, man, we just like. We've been talking social media this a while. Yesterday I posted, it's the first game I bought a case of ever at a convention. (laughs) So I said, Chad, I need a case and a half for Green Team. He's like, what? I said, yeah, I need it. it." (laughs) That's why they're sold out today. (laughs) Blame Isaac. But we have, um, we've had fun looking at the design yeah. of this. I love the 90s you know, yeah, it's fun, theme. Right? And you know, I told Chad one day, we were chatting in chat, I said, what if, hear me out, mm-hmm. fanny pack. He's oh, like, yeah. Oh, like, that was your idea? He's like, that's dumb. Stroke and genius. two days later, he's like, here's the fanny pack. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I saw some people, I was out rollerblading, I saw somebody wear a fanny pack, and it was like, I was thinking about this game. Uh-huh. And then I saw that, and I was like, oh my gosh, that'd be hilarious right. with this design. That's so great. And it, it's perfect. Yeah, yeah. that's, the, that's the, the craziest thing, is that outside of the box, all the components fit in that fanny pack. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it fits yeah. perfect. So we, uh, around Christmas time, I was jonesing for some green team wins, and I was trying to get a hold of Chad, it was uh, Christmas Eve, and I'm trying to get a hold of Chad, I'm like, Chad, send me the print and play, I can't find the files. Send me the print and play. I really need this. It's Christmas Eve. I really need this now. No way. And so Chad didn't get back to me for hours. Mm-hmm. So what did I do? I put together a PowerPoint slide with as many cards as I could remember. Get out of here. And I'm throwing the PowerPoint up on the screen, uh-huh. and I got a whole family around. All right, all right, everybody got their dry erase uh-huh. boards that we scavenged from other games in our collection? Okay, everybody's well, got yeah, them. That's, that's Let's go. <laughs> Look at the screen. And it was just ridiculous because wow. we had to play this game again. And that's the only access we had. That's so. my, my dry erase boards were uh, old football cards yeah. in a sleeve, and we just used the sleeve as the oh, yeah, nice. and yeah. cleared on and off. But the other thing that we uh, were very thankful for, uh, for me personally, there's two things for our channel that I've always wanted. Uh, one is what we got to do here is to have our logo be yeah. part of this game, mm-hmm. right? So we have the Probably. prototypes. Yeah. We came up with ourselves, with One Board Family, with Board Game Spotlight, mm-hmm. with Tantrum House. Yeah. We had a chat where we were just throwing mm-hmm. things against the wall on you know board game specific right. questions. And last time was the first time we got to use those mm-hmm. with board game specific oh, people. people went crazy for and them. oh yeah. man, mm-hmm. it was great. Yeah. Like I loved it. That's and true. so I'm very happy to be even the smallest part mm-hmm. right, of, of this game right. and because I love it so much. Well, so. and similarly, I am an honor to be associated with something that has all of your guys' logos on it. I mean, because I've, I've admired what you do for so long, and uh, it's, it's nice to, like, I mean, think of it as a co-design, you know what I mean? Because we all it's so much fun. So, so, well, so. I, the game, um, I, I like it also. Um, oh, and, um, I'm a fan <laughs> of it. Ooh, that's right. Well, no, I put my name on it. What I like about it is that, like, the, you don't win by trying to make other people lose. And no. I, I know that sounds kind of, like, obvious, but, yeah. but it is. But the only way you can do well is if other people do well also. Yeah. And yeah. it's like doing well more often than some other people. But, like, you're not actively campaigning for people to get things wrong so you can get them right. Sure. Like, and so, and I, and, I, and I think Medium does this, too. I love the idea of games that are competitive, but they're about... This is going to sound corny, but like about like finding connections, you know, about like 
getting in other people's heads and like empathizing with them and seeing the world through their eyes. Yeah. And even if it's something as minor as um, as a, oh, we both like a brownie from the edge more than a brownie from the middle. I never knew that about you, yeah. you know. But like just spending that time, like because I, you know, obviously games that are competitive and games where you're, you know, trying to outdo other people that are very common, very popular, and very fun in their own ways. But uh, but I love the idea of a game that is about like shared experiences and you know kind of shared ways of seeing yeah. the world. Yeah. Yeah. Corny, I know, but it's for real. No, my favorite it's good questions out of here. I mean, I love the most damage to the world one. That's oh my yeah, favorite, right? Oh. Fire. <laughs> Can I tell you, Isaac? That is the very first question that I wrote. Really? Which has done yes. the most damage to the world: the wheel, fire, or the internet? And the internet <laughs> is always the answer. Internet but the always others, wins. I know. But there's always one person at the table who says wheel. Right? What? Because they got a car crash. What? Last night, with somebody say wheel, yeah. right? And What's it's wrong not with that fire person? Not as much, but yeah. there's always one wheel. Uh -huh. It's a fire wheel. has burnt down entire right. cities, <laughs> and like uh -huh. now it's the internet. I feel like <laughs> how the and in this, like I think of the wheel and like in you know weapons of war and how it's enabled to mechanize some of those oh, things. I mean, if you think too hard about any of it, you can make a case for any of them. Yeah, right. last year was interesting. We played at PAX. Um, Stan, uh, Zyre Surgeons, mm -hmm. right? Sat down, played with us, and Stan's from. Ukraine, I believe, mm -hmm. and so he's every question was so culturally different. And oh, he's like, that's interesting. He just kept going. I can't. I'm not thinking like any of you people. Oh, what no, is going on? Know, until wrong with until you. he switched, right? Because sometimes you have to answer with the table, yeah. right? Yeah. Right. Aaron was sharing that with mm -hmm. us. You got to answer at the table. There's one question that talks about too many pillows or too many stuffed animals, mm -hmm. right? With kids, I play this with kids. It's always stuffed animals. Oh, so I got to yeah, I got to yeah. lead into the group. Also, oh, with, yeah. also with me because I told Aaron that I. I wanted to replace all of our pillows on our bed with the uh, giant sushi uh, stuffies <laughs> out yeah. in the game hall. So she actually brought that idea mm -hmm. down on the way over here and said that we couldn't do it. So mm -hmm. that kind of sucks for me. So yeah. I want awesome. giant sushis. So there's a lot out there. Yeah. And I, oh, I'm sorry. It's was the, yeah. and I think that like what another thing I like. I think in my opinion, the best party games are the ones where only like less than half of your time is is dealing with the components. and Because I feel like in Green Team Wins, the best part of the game is the part that happens after the question. Yeah, where you're sure. like, oh, how could you say fire? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that yeah. sort of thing in that conversation. If you are if you spend more time looking up at the people that you're playing with and the people you're spending time with, then you are like looking at your answer, looking at your cards, or looking at your pieces. I, I feel like that, that that's where like those memories come from. Oh, yeah, 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 100%. Yeah. Um, real quick, I want to talk about, you've got a couple games in That's development, right. so you're working with different companies. Mm -hmm. um, so you, uh, this old wallpaper mm -hmm. is coming out from AEG right. uh, at Gen Con. So tell us about, this is a card game, um, and it's less about, I think it's less about like the... Uh, the social aspect, right. but, it, but it's a physical card game that you're playing. So tell us about this old wallpaper. Right, uh, it's called that old wallpaper. That I, old wallpaper. I wasn't. I, I told you I would I mess it up. Well, I, I didn't want to be like right actually. Before <laughs> actually, your your name's stupid, right? <laughs> I, no, I get that name wrong every time, and I'm like, I gotta get it right. Uh, I got it wrong again. So well, I, I should. I mean, is it a bad wallpaper. name? Maybe it's. I mean, it's, it's already in no, printing. No, but, yeah. okay. <laughs> is it a bad name? Should, should we just stop it? Can we no. get him to put a sticker no. on it? <laughs> uh, I'll put a sticker on my. Back. That old wallpaper. Well, because it's a game. Right. Okay, so the theme of the game is you're trying to remember uh, the pattern in that old wallpaper that was in your house when you were a kid, or was in your grandma's house, or that mm -hmm. sort of thing. And so, so all the cards have like pieces of the pattern. Each of them has like a big half of a pattern, a big half of a pattern, a small half of a pattern, a small half of a pattern. The, mm -hmm. the cards are. I was about, I don't know, the cards are rectangles. I don't know if you're familiar <laughs> with the style of what? card. What? It's a, it's so it's a common style of card. You'll <laughs> okay. keep your eyes open. Okay. You'll see these rectangle cards I'm talking about. <laughs> Um, but uh, but the way it works is you are you're each building your own um, like memory of the wallpaper and there are a number of stacks on the table depending on player count and you've got a hand of cards and they've got numbers on them and so what you're trying to do is you're trying um, is you, you are trying and the, the stacks of wallpaper they'll they'll accumulate so sometimes they'll just have one in them sometimes you can have up to five and so what you're trying to do is pick which pile you want to take and so everybody puts their card down mm -hmm. and uh, if you pick a pile that no one else chose you get it. But if you pick one that someone else chose, if you pick the same number as them, your two cards kind of bump each other okay. and you cancel each other out. And there is a tiebreaker, but you get it like a consolation prize. Okay. And so it's kind of a game of, um, of do I want to take that big juicy pile of cards or do I not even try to go for that thinking everyone's going to want that good pile. I'll go for this pile of one and maybe get something guaranteed. Right. And then you're building your, your pattern and it grows on the table. And then and there's a couple of like special symbols and stuff. But that's basically it. It's another game everybody plays 
plays at the same time. You put new cards out, everybody bids on what they want, take the card, and then and then make their their wallpaper. Yeah. But a real quick and and light card game. I know um, you know AG did a game called Point Salad that oh, I'm yeah. sure everybody's yeah, familiar with, and, I, and they've talked about this as being kind of that spirit, that okay. weight, that, awesome. that kind of style of game. Love Very it. cool. Well, we're excited to see anything that you create, Nathan. Oh, thank you so much. I'm super thankful for you coming through and just hanging out with us. And uh, one of the coolest moments last year, this is, this is, I think, just the character of you as a person. Um, Aaron and I are sitting, uh, we, are, we are worn slap out. It's Saturday, mm -hmm. Saturday afternoon, and we're sitting leaned up against a, a column out here at Origins. Um, I'm charging my phone. I'm kind of stressed out about getting some uh, getting some uh, videos out, and I'm trying to get on the Wi-Fi. It's not working. I'm having to use a, my phone as a hotspot. And you walk out out of nowhere, and Aaron and I are just sitting there like, "Huh, oh, the day." You sit down near us on the floor of the show hall, and you say, "I've missed you guys," oh. and I'm like. I'm not going to cry on camera. <laughs> I am. I'm not going to cry on camera. I don't do that anymore. No, I do. Um, but that meant so much. That meant more than you'll ever know. You sat down on the floor with us, and I was just like, oh, that just, like, it revitalized us. It really, and that's your character. That's who you are. And I'm, I'm very grateful for that. Oh, thank you so, so much. So, even though we only hang out on Twitter most of the time, oh, yeah. like, uh, <laughs> we've only seen to... each other like maybe eight or nine times yeah, in history, yeah. but still, they've been memorable and impactful well, times. They have been. So, thank you so much. Thank you for creating a wonderful game. Thank you for uh, making Isaac go crazy over a game. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, I, I, just just stop. Stop. I can't jump. Can't jam it enough. I'm excited to see the wallpaper game next. Oh, thank yes. you so much. So, thank Absolutely. you so much. A pleasure. All right. Until next time, we'll see you at the table.